It's called ADR, or Automatic Dialogue Revoicing. And what when you shoot a movie, the camera and the microphone are on the stars who have the dialogue, or the actors, we'll call them. And uh, so the people that you see in the background who look like they're talking are not talking. They're mouthing dialogue. And um, so what happens then is uh, you go to a, an, an ADR stage or a looping stage, and after you know the, the film has been edited, you put um, dialogue in the voices. So it helps if you can read lips a little bit and see if you can find dialogue that will fit in. And, I, and I've, I've done, well, over 100 films that way. My first was Jaws. That was the first film I did that for. And it, strangely enough, it was one of you know Steven Spielberg's first uh, films. And uh, he was a, a delightful fellow and uh, no ego. And, and he had a new secretary who missed, kept calling him Spielberg. <laughs> Spielberg. And, and he, was, he wouldn't even correct her. You know, he was that, that loose. And, and of course, uh, Steven Spielberg, Spielberg, thank you, Mouse. Spielberg, <laughs> Spielberg was one of the characters in the Blues Brothers. If if you remember uh, when the boys went in the county, the county building, I remember that. Went, yes, mm-hmm. yeah, and, and they were uh, Stephen was behind the desk accepting the money. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people didn't know that. It, it, someone did mention about Steven Spielberg when I looked that up. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's Steven Spielberg taking the money, and I'm sure he freaked out when they had like maybe hundreds of guns pointing the Blues Brothers. He goes. Okay, we're going to jail. Now do Jailhouse Rock. So, <laughs> right, right. Oh, so much fun. Oh, it was great. Joe Walsh, the musician Joe Walsh in Jailhouse Rock, did, did was the dancer on top of the tables. I didn't know he's Joe fun. Walsh dance. Oh my gosh, I did not he's know good. that. <laughs> yeah, he's jumping around and having fun, and quite a guy. Oh, I might have to catch that part as well, too, you know, you know, especially in the James Gang. I just got to think of some others. And, of course, we have a few minutes left here. We know you're a very busy guy. But, um, you know, besides the Blues Brothers, uh, what are some of your favorite projects that you really liked? I think ones you haven't mentioned, would you consider the most challenging? And what's your uh, other most memorable moment that we haven't uh, touched on? Well, working with Mel Brooks in High Anxiety w- was great. On it. And let me tell you about the audition. He uh, he said, "Okay, Murphy, come in here. Come in. <laughs> I hear you're good. I hear you're good. Come on. Everybody tells me you're good. So, okay, sit on the divan. Sit. I mean the sectional on the couch. You know what I mean. So I'm I'm sitting on the couch, and he said, "Pretend like you're playing piano, and I'm going to start to sing." I said, "Sure, go." And he said. High anxiety, and I <laughs> faked an arpeggio. He said, "You got the job. You got the job. You you know just where the arpeggio is. So leave your sizes. You can leave." So then I said, "Mel, I've got more." He says, well, "What do you, what do you got?" I, I said, "I got some other business I can do." So I said, "So so if I understand this correctly, Madeline Kahn is to my left." He said, "Right. He's to your left." I said, "Okay." continue to sing so he's singing and i turned to uh the, I, nobody's there i turned to madeline Kahn to go, and i went who is this guy he's better than sinatra <laughs> this is the greatest thing I ever he, and mel starts laughing he goes ah it's great it's great i love it i love it but forget it it's my scene murphy not yours now get out of here <laughs> And oh, use the Schwartz. <laughs> well, I'm going to call it quits, too. I, I had a great time, and I'm kind of on the run today, so forgive me. I hope I gave you enough stuff. Oh, oh that's, that's great, too. I was just going to wrap it up here. Uh, what are some of your upcoming projects, and what's your website, and how can they reach you? Well, uh, they can go to the original. It's called the original bluesbrothersband.com. And that's where Cropper and, and all of us receive stuff. And, and uh, it's, it's 
fun to do. I just uh, let everybody know that I've I've got a lot to be grateful for, and and my fans who send me fan mail all the time, they just look up my agent, and my agent uh, sends me the the stuff. Abstract Talent is the name of my agent in Southern California. And they collect all the uh, stuff that needs to be signed and pictures. I don't know where people get the pictures, but some they're very inventive. <laughs> <laughs> very inventive yeah. indeed. Okay. All right, Murphy, thank you very much for your time. You've been great. And uh, just want to wish you all the best. And we'll talk to you soon, especially on a mission from God. Thank you, Michael. All the best to you and, and your fans. So long, folks. You've been listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios at themikewagnershow.com. Visit sonicwebstudios.com today for all your web design needs. If you would like to be a sponsor of The Mike Wagner Show, call or text at 701-301-7705 or email to mike at themikewagnershow.com. If you're a listener and would like to support our program, visit themikewagnershow.com and click on the support button and donate today. Thanks for listening, and tune in again next time on The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com.